Good morning children. The human body is a wonderful machine and just like any other machine it also needs fuel to work. Like car it runs on petrol and diesel. Similarly our body also requires fuel to work. It needs care and maintenance. When the energy level drops we feel hungry and we eat food. Food gives us energy, helps us to grow and keeps us healthy. So children Today we are going to start with chapter 7 the food we eat in this chapter we all will learn different kinds of food nutrients and their sources differences between healthy food and junk food good food habits the importance of cleanliness and exercise for good health so children let's start first topic is types of food food can be divided into various groups according to the nutrients it contains Nutrients are substances that provide nourishment essential for the maintenance of life and growth. So children, the food are basically categorized into three categories: energy giving food, body building food and protective food. We get nutrients from these food items. Now what are nutrients? Nutrients are those substances that actually provide us the nourishment which is very essential for the maintenance of life and growth now children let us try to understand what are these energy giving food body building food and protective food we will start with energy giving food these food items provide us with energy people who do a lot of physical work need lots of energy giving food example potato banana sugar cane so children we all require energy for doing different activities like you all go out in the park to play you all need energy to run throw catch walk so children energy giving food provides us energy to work and play we get energy from different food materials for example potato sugar cane wheat we eat chapati and bread they are made up of wheats banana oil rice these are the food material that provide us with immense amount of energy next is body building food body building food helps us to grow and repair the muscles example eggs meat cottage cheese etc so children you all must have grown taller and stronger from what you were at the age of 2 this is because of the body building food body building food promotes growth and helps in repair of our wounds which we get while playing and doing other activities so body building food helps our wounds to heal these are found in eggs nuts meat cottage cheese is your paneer which you eat legumes legumes are different types of dal which you eat and peas next is protective food our body needs nutrients to fight against infections they keep us healthy fresh fruits and vegetables protect us and help us to fight diseases so children there are some nutrients that help us in building our immunity they help our body to fight against disease causing germs and keeps us fit and healthy so such kind of food are called as protective food some of the protective food are fruits and green leafy vegetables now let us see what is given here in did you know box 72% of our body is made up of water all the food we eat contains some quantity of water our body also requires 8 to 10 glasses of water every day this helps in good digestion and absorption of the nutrients of our food so children for the proper digestion of food and proper absorption of nutrients we must drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day our body will get dehydrated if we do not provide it with adequate amount of water now let's move on to raw and cooked food fruits and the vegetables like carrot radish cucumber are eaten raw as salad cooking makes food tasty easy to chew and easy to digest heat also kills germs in the food so children raw fruits and vegetables provide lot of roughage to our body which is very important for the digestion of food if we don't include raw fruits and vegetables in our diet we may suffer from constipation now children let's try to find out what are different healthy eating habits 
first wash your hands before and after having your meals so children before having our meal we must wash our hand thoroughly with soap so that all the germs are removed from our hand before eating the meals otherwise all these germs will enter into our body along with the food second do not eat food from outside as it may be exposed to flies which may cause disease so children flies sit on garbage and other dirty places the disease causing germs present at such places stick to the body of the flies which are then transported to the exposed food items which are sold by the vendors so children we must avoid eating exposed food items which are sold in the market third wash fruits and vegetables before using them children these fruits and vegetables which are sold in the market may contain several germs which are carried by the flies or some kind of chemical may be sprayed on them to keep them fresh for a longer duration so we should always wash the fruits and vegetables before using them now let's see what is given here in the did you know box growing children like you need healthy food and not junk food the food that you eat goes in your stomach the useful part of this food gets into your blood along with your blood it reaches all part of your body this is what gives you energy and makes you grow second point obesity or being overweight is increasing rapidly among children due to unhealthy fast food junk food does not provide the required nutrition lack of exercise also adds to the problem so eat healthy food and exercise daily children junk food are very high in calories and have very less nutritional value which results in obesity or you can say overweight they also stick here and there between our teeth and may also cause tooth decay if not clean properly so children in this way the reading and explanation of this chapter is done let's move on to the exercises question number a tick the correct answer now here for each and every question three options are given we have to tick the correct answer question number 1 when we are asleep some parts of our body are sleeping working resting so the answer will be working children even when we are asleep our lungs don't stop breathing our hearts don't stop beating so there are many parts of our body which keeps on working even when we are asleep question number 2 the more physical work we do the more energy is required by our body the following food gives us energy so here options are given rice chapatis egg cheese green leafy vegetables so children out of the options which are given over here rice and chapatis are energy giving food so we have to take rice and chapatis question number 3 one of the food items that contains about 96% of water is mango cucumber x so here the answer will be cucumber it contains 96% of water question number b name the following now here we have to give two two examples of each of the food items which are given below first two energy giving food so we can write potato rice chapati bread anything you can write which gives us energy question number 2 two body building food meat eggs milk cheese all these things are energy giving food so you can write any two examples third two protective foods so you children here you can write the name of any vegetable and any fruit so here i have written fruits and vegetables you can write any specific name of these two question number c circle the odd one out now here out of the four options which are given one will be odd one so we have to find out that odd one and we have to circle it first one banana sugar cane nuts potato now here we have to circle nuts nuts are body building food and others banana sugar cane and potato they are energy giving food second spinach lettuce gram cabbage now out of these four gram gram is basically kala chana it is a body building food it is a kind of legume so it comes under the category of body building food whereas spinach lettuce and cabbage they are protective food because they come under the category of vegetables vegetables are protective food third milk butter apple cheese so children i'm sure you know the answer here we will circle apple because apple is a protective food it is a fruit 
whereas milk butter and cheese are body building food fourth juice lassi almonds lemonade here the answer is very simple we will circle almonds almond is a nut whereas juice lassi and lemonade comes under the category of beverages let's move on to question number d answer the following questions question number 1 what are nutrients so the answer is the useful substances that provide nourishment essential for the maintenance of life and growth are called nutrients second why do we need food answer we need food because a it gives us energy b it helps us to grow c it keeps us healthy and strong question number 3 why should we drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day answer we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day because it helps in good digestion and absorption of the nutrients of our food question number 4 how does exercise help us to be fit answer regular physical activity improves our muscle strength and delivers oxygen and nutrients to each and every part of the body in this way exercise help us to be fit next is hots question number 1 why are sick people given body building food so children sick people are given body building food because it helps in the repair and healing of the body when we are sick second in summer juicy citrus fruits and watermelons are our hot favorites why answer juicy fruits like watermelons have high water content and so they keep us hydrated and cool during the summer season let's do make a fruit salad so children in this activity we have to make a fruit salad what are the steps let's see first take a bowl full of various seasonal cut fruits second add few nuts to it third add a squash of lime and salt your salad is ready so children in a bowl you have to take lots of seasonal cut fruits you have to add some dry fruits or nuts into it you have to put little lime and salt and your salad is ready next is this activity to check whether the food which you ate yesterday was healthy or not write down all that you ate for breakfast lunch and dinner now divide these food items accordingly so children in this activity you have to divide the food items which you ate yesterday into the following categories energy giving food body building food protective food water and how many glasses of water which you drank yesterday and then based on your division you have to answer this question do you think you had a healthy diet yesterday why so this you have to answer by yourself whether you had a healthy diet yesterday or not next is life skills eat healthy stay healthy it is important to eat healthy food such food protects us from sickness and helps us to grow and makes us strong healthy eating habits and exercise enable us to enjoy all things around us it is our health we have to be more careful about it than anything so children health and fitness is the most important aspect of our life there is nothing more important than our health when we are healthy and fit we are able to enjoy our life well we can talk to our near and dear ones we can laugh smile travel enjoy food and sleep well as told by dalai lama happiness is the highest form of health and it will come only when we will be healthy and fit so children in this way this chapter is complete in case you have any doubt regarding the understanding of any particular concept meaning of any word put your query in the comment box i'll try to answer it as soon as possible all the best children